Yeah, yeah. The fact remains that even from inception, because we have lost the path to greatness in this country, and that's what we have seen in government. That's why our government has failed. Firstly, they believe that the HND is inferior to BSA, and the same thing with uh, the NCA and the likes. So for that reason, they tend to see those institutions as second-class institutions in Nigeria, and they don't care about their value added to the uh, society. But the fact remains that the government itself is not even concerned about uh, giving qualitative education to Nigerian youth. For the fact that even after colonization, after colonialism, they gave us a kind of education that has to be subjected to the culture, the beliefs, and the decisions and authorities of the West. And that's what we are under. So now, that has now encompassed and engulfed our own government. And because of that, they won't see reason why the Nigerian people should be educated. Now, on the issue of Polytechnic, for 11 months, the Polytechnic has been on strike. For six months, the College of Education has been on strike. But the government is saying that uh, they, they, there's not enough resources to, take, to cater for all the demands of the lecturers. This is unrealistic because we have facts on ground to prove that there are enough resources. We understand that about 40% of Nigerian income uh, goes into the pockets of the so-called politicians, which means if 50% uh, of that 4% is put into education and infrastructure, we will have a better country and a better nation. But the fact remains that the government is insensitive because they are fueling insurgency, they are corrupt leaders, and they support insurgency. And that's why they want to create more illiterate, more poverty impoverished nation, more uh, criminals, so that Nigeria will not be stable, so that the people will not learn, so that if you want to learn, you have your fellow youth that will kill you during your course of learning. They know what they are doing. They want to remain at the top. And that's the reason why they are putting their deaf ear to what we are saying. Actually, what I would say is that right from time, ASUP have been demanding for all these things. Guida government don't have care for the polytechnic and federal government don't have care for all the students as a whole. If federal government have care and knows that we are the leaders of tomorrow, definitely federal government will do something, if not enough, they will try and do something that, okay, let us provide, there, shall, there should be miscellaneous. There should be miscellaneous in government budget in case of any unforeseen contingency so that there will be preparation for all these things. Now students are suffering, 10 months on strike and every other thing. What do you expect students to do? We are suffering. Nigerian students are suffering. If not because of all these things, Educa Nigerian education is shrinking. And we as a student, we are at home for 10 months. What do you think? Compare, let us, let us do, the, do this thing to our, let's compare it to ourselves. If we are not, if, if we, we are the leader, leaders of the tomorrow, leader of, leaders of tomorrow, definitely government should provide amenities for us. School are there, um, students are there, everybody are there, lecturers are not coming to class. How can we do about it? Well, the reality are not far-fetched. And as you can see, that it has, it's actually becoming more obvious, even more than they ever expected, is that they have actually decided to make the country ungovernable for us. And so and so we are ready to bury them as well. That there is no resources. We are not going to koto to that kind of sheer maladministration or deception. How can the government be so insensitive and be saying there is no fund? How do they mean by there is no fund? Has there ever been proper funding of education? At what point in time has the federal government deemed it fit to come around to these campuses that we are talking about to actually see whether some certain things like infrastructures, infrastructural uh, facilities, uh, laboratories are not well equipped, even where the students reside. I mean, the hostel, there's actually nothing to write home about. Of course, it has now become a yearly ritual. Not even yearly ritual, not only yearly ritual. In fact, it has almost become a norm, a tradition, whereby you can just hear that one so-so-so-so-so person 
steals so, 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 so billions of dollars. Tomorrow you hear another other person stealing so, 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 so billions of dollars. We are setting up committees to take care of all this. You see, we have, we have gone beyond that. We have actually asked for it. Move, move ahead of them. Because what they have actually tried to do is that they actually want to keep us in perpetual way in order to blindfold us. But we are actually gradually coming home to roast. They should be prepared for serious battle ready. We are battle ready. As a matter of fact, it is not going to be the Nigerian police or the Nigerian army that they will use to intimidate us. Because the reality is that this Nigerian, the Nigerian police and the Nigerian army, they are actually our parents and our guardians. We are the children of the so-called neo-fascist person in government. They have actually taken their own children out of the country. But you come to think of it, the children of the police, the children of the poor, the children of the dantronic children of the masses are actually those that has been kept outrightly away out of the Nigerian Polytechnic and Colleges of Education campuses for over 11 months now. Yes. By, next, yes. by next month, it will be exactly a year. Yes. And you see the symbolism yes. of this mass movement, yes. the mass action, it is actually going to be spontaneous. We are not going to be retired. Yes. In fact, we are actually battle ready this time around. Yes. They are not going to be agents yes. that will get us intimidated. The reality also is that we must be very succinct and explicit on this. Unfortunately for them, the National Assembly is sitting today, tomorrow, over this very issue. It is then of good, immense opportunity for us that we are already on the streets of Nigeria, not only in Lagos. Because the reality is that our colleagues in Ado, in Nila, some in Kaduna and Abuja have already arrived since yesterday. Some from Ede are on their way coming. People in the Barrow Polytechnic are on their way coming. We are not going to be intimidated. They should be prepared to see more of this in time to come. We are not going to cajole to their deception and deceit. We are ready as the battle is to be won. Whether they like it or not, since they are sitting today, tomorrow, they should just take the bull by the horn to accede to the genuine demands of the striking workers union. Because the reality is this, if those agreements are well implemented, what it then implies is that more money will be pumped to the campuses. Laboratories will be equipped. More infrastructure facility will be erected. We are not going to be tired. Go to the hostels. You can go to Java Tech. You can go to FC Akoka. Even University of Lagos that they deceptively used to call the best school in Nigeria. I challenge everybody here present, even the Nigerian agents, to go and pay a visit to a hall like Shodan Ide, a hall like Vakama, and see the kind of black people are living over there. And Luther continue. Yeah.